Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I haven't been in my craft room for a while. Well, I have, but not doing any crafting. Just had, uh, we've had a week off and we've done, went to um, Aylesbury Public, um, whatever it is, archives or something. We were looking at a family history and things like that. Spent a couple of days doing that. Um, and I've been, we've been doing, my husband's been doing his, researching his family tree since he was about, I think, 14, 16. Um, and my dad has uh, researched ours quite a bit, um, but now I'm involved as well. So we, in most of the most of our free time, we're spending looking up things. So yeah, so I haven't I haven't been doing a lot of crafting, but um, you know, hopefully this week I can catch up a bit. Anyway, less waffle. Uh, this is my ATC swap from Kaz, and Kaz is Kaz. 0518 on YouTube um, and she's recently joined the swap group so I said I would swap with her this time and uh, because she didn't in, she just missed out so I did a little extra swap there so she says here is my ATC swap for you looking forward to taking part in your monthly ATC swap I made my card an ATC using the English rose papers and die cut toppers lots of love cats so there's her pretty card with a little butterfly and the same, very similar, beautiful ATC. I love that. It's so easy just to put a little bit of um, paper on and if you tear the edge, it just makes such a massive difference. I must remember to keep doing that. It just, I don't know, it just gives it a little bit of a extra. Um, her favorite colors are gray, burgundy and pastels. A style of florals and butterflies and her favourite card craft sorry paper crafting and making cards and her birthday oh is in April just missed that sorry Cass so there is her beautiful ATC and card so thank you for swapping with me um, that was last time swap I think and then I've also got one of this time swap as well and um, one off, I'm only swapping once, I don't know where my head is today. But it also came with this gorgeous card with this beautiful rainbow background. It says thank you so much. It's a thank you card from Anne because I sent her a couple of bits for her birthday. So you're very welcome Anne. But Anne is also my swap partner this month. So she's made me this beautiful sort of vintage butterfly card. Love that. And she says thank you for swapping with me so look at the beautiful envelope that she has doodled herself i really need to get back into doodling i haven't done any for a long time i've had a few problems with my eyes and I, my eyesight is not as great as it used to be um but that's not really an excuse for me to to stop i could easily do some more and i've just had some nice pens haven't i as well from samantha and I've actually got two projects that I want to do. I've got two um, frames for postcards that I want to fill. So um, I really should crack on and do some. Look at this gorgeous ATC. That looks like um, like a balloon flower or a, pe a pe uh, plastic bag painty flower anyway. But it's been glossy accented or something. It's beautiful. Same as the background here on the card, which has... It looks like it's got some doodling and I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's glossy accents. You have to tell me, Anne, what that is. It's gone on a treat, whatever it is, and some beautiful butterflies on the top. I'll be careful because I know Anne's address is on the back, so I don't want to show that. Anne's birthday is April the 18th and she likes doodling, mixed media, mini bookmaking and beading. So thank you very much, Anne. I have not made my ATC yet for you, but it's on my to-do list this week. Um, and when I when I do it, perhaps I'll share it with everybody once you've received it. So thank you very much for stopping with me, guys, and thank you for my thank you card. And um, yeah, I'll be back again soon. Cheerio for now.